All right, so today we'll be talking about vectors and just working with actual vectors, okay? So vectors are actually pretty simple stuff. A vector is actually a force that has a direction and a magnitude, okay? So magnitude would actually be the length of the vector. So you can imagine if we're doing this in a coordinate plane, you'll be using some straight up uh, distance formulas right there, okay? and direction usually direction is connotated by an angle with the horizon you know that type of thing oh let's get rid of that oh, yeah. that really alright now if we call this vector v okay if we wanted to represent its magnitude if we wanted to say oh let's find the magnitude of vector v you would just say uh, you would either say I want to find the magnitude of vector v, vector v, or I'm just going to do the absolute value. Okay. Now this is not the determinant of it. <laughs> I know we've probably used absolute value in three different situations already, uh, but when you're talking about vectors, when you see the absolute value bars around a vector, that just means the magnitude of it. Okay some things to talk about. Its initial point is right here and its terminal point is right here. And to actually find the coordinates of this vector you want to use the less than sign. You take the terminal y point and you minus the initial y point. Oh, sorry, this is the x coordinate so we're going to replace those with x's. So you minus the initial initial x and then you do the same thing over here. So you take the terminal y coordinate and you minus the initial y coordinate and then you cap it off with a, 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 a less than sign or greater than sign. Okay and that's actually how you find the actual uh, name of this vertex and this is what vertex v would actually equal. Okay. All right. Now, if we had to ma represent ma matrix blah vector v, it would be represented, and let's say that it was a comma b would be the actual uh, coordinates of it. Okay. You could do that, or you could actually do your own matrix of it, and that's the beautiful thing behind this, because we're learning about this right now when we're going through matrices. Okay, so you could have A up here and B down here. All right. All right, now here's some cool stuff that you can do with vectors. You can add, subtract vectors. You can distribute scalars to vectors. Okay, in other words, make them bigger or smaller. All right, and when you do the dot product, you are actually checking to see if two vectors are perpendicular or not. Okay. All right. So let's say that if you wanted to check if uh, one comma four vector and let's say negative two no let's go negative eight comma two vector is it, let's see if these two are going to be perpendicular okay so the dot product works like this you take the first you take the first two coordinates of it and you check to see if it multiplies so you go uh, 1 times negative 8 and then you add that with 4 times 2 okay and that's going to be negative 8 plus 8 which definitely turns into 0 so that means that these two are perpendicular so yes perpendicular and what we'd also call this is we would also call these two vectors normal that's another way of saying perpendicular in the realm of vectors. Okay, so dot product is really easy to work with. Uh, adding, subtracting, just working with this stuff. Uh, now, actuality, magnitude is going to be the distance formula, but it's also going to be a f version of the, um, I guess you could say Pythagorean theorem, because that's where the distance formula comes from. Okay, all right. That's it for vectors in Algebra 2B. I'll talk to you later. Bye.